growing up in the in the Midwest it was really difficult to have something as uncommon as a stutter uh, because um, because I was made fun of all of the time and while I wanted a a sense of justice and a vindication to come from my um, teachers. They never even really dealt with their own with their own discomfort around my around my disability. When I was um, when I was uh, ten, I had this idea that if I became a singer and an actress, there you go, Jeannie. There's your music. <laughs> I stutter because my muscles spasm, so it's not really a, a stutter, it's more of a speech, a, a speech spasm. Uh, um, cannabis alleviates muscles spasms so when I when I smoke pot um, I um, I do not stutter as much because my because my muscles are not spasming. My name is Jacqueline Patterson and I'm a medical I am a medical cannabis patient who moved from Kansas City, Missouri to California um, to seek legal protection and the ability to safely raise my family. Um, I was born with a cerebral palsy which manifests itself in a weakened right side of my body and uh, muscles Chasms, and then uh, muscle spasms that manifest in a stutter. Um, cannabis really helps me not only to alleviate the 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 best safely and effectively but it helps me cope with developing arthritis because I have broken my neck and been brutally raped not all in the same uh, weekend but but still, <laughs> it's, um, I just put a lot of wear and, and terror on my body.
um, and it and that's really what helps me to have to lead an effective an effective life where I come in where I come from in Missouri I was always treated like a third class citizen because of my stutter um, even by my family um, I was just assumed that I'd never um, be anything and then when I began smoking pot I was this big I was this big rebel and uh, now that I am 30 when my first uh, son was up to I broke I broke my neck and became pregnant a month later. Uh, my I wanted to get an abortion simply because my body hadn't healed. And I was worried about the impact that the drugs that I was on would have on the fetus. Uh, my husband told me if I had an abortion I was going to go to hell. Uh, we later got uh, divorced. But, um, and uh, when I was nine months pregnant, he told me that I needed to give the baby up for adoption, and I was on I was on so much um, oxy. I was on so much oxy cotton that day. I just kept on taking it to make the pain go away, and I woke up the next. Um, and, and he left and I woke up the next, uh, the next, uh, morning. And I swore I would never take pharmaceutical pills, uh, for pain as long as I was pregnant again. And I convinced my husband's roommate to smoke a, a bowl with me because of that way we weren't even living, living together. Um, and, 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 and he did and it was amazing how it would be pain just went just went Mm, just went mm, just went mm, away and I decided then that this was going to be one of uh, this was going to be one of those things I don't lie to my to my children about. Cannabis is good, safe, effective medicine as long as it, as long as it is used responsibly. As long as it's used responsibly, even if it's used irresponsibly. You cannabis is, is has never been the cause of a single a single death in in more than three thousand years recorded history.